Hello YouTube makeup lovers, so I'm here with a new video for you guys. Welcome back to my channel and for anybody who is just finding my channel right now, I really hope that you stick around because I have very exciting videos coming up. For today's video, I wanted to talk about my brand new Lorac. This is the Mega Pro 3 palette. As soon as I saw that this was available on Ulta.com for one day for the Platinum members, I bought it immediately. It was $59. And this is the third version of this Mega Pro palette. I wasn't able to get the first one. I was able to get the second one, which I'll show you now so that you guys can see like a little bit of a comparison between the two. But I was very excited. It looks like this. It has a white packaging and the writing is in rose gold. I haven't even touched it or anything or even swatched it because I wanted to do it in front of the cameras for you guys. But definitely this is something that I'm gonna be testing out. So stick around and you'll hear my thoughts about it once I use it for a little bit longer. Well, once I use it at all because I haven't even touched it. Here is what it looks like on the inside. It has a mirror and this is what the palette looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm definitely gonna swatch it all for you guys. Then we'll compare it to the Mega Pro number two. And of course, I will tell you my thoughts, my initial thoughts, because this is just pretty much a first impression on the Lorac Mega Pro number three palette. So as always, the Lorac Mega Pro comes with the 32 colors. It basically has two sections, it has 16 shadows up on top that are more matte shades. And then it has another 16 shades here at the bottom that are more shimmery frosty shades so this is pretty much two of the of the Lorac Pro palettes so um, that's why it's the Mega Pro because it has like a lot of eyeshadows and I just really love it I've always loved this concept it does have a lot of matte colors it also has a lot of shimmery colors which are my favorite so I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is start swatching them I'm gonna start off with the top row and go all the way to the bottom so first I'm gonna do the top row. First three colors are pink, cream, tan, and pecan. Walnut, dusty mauve, violet gray. Eggplant, dark navy. So from the top row, I'm really loving the tan color, the walnut color, I love. It's swatched really, really great. The dusty mauve, I also liked as well. But I think out of the top row, my favorite one is the walnut. I think this will be a really excellent crease color. These swatch really nicely, really smooth. I feel like in comparison to other Lorac Mega palettes, like the, the Lorac Mega Pro 2, and even the other regular Lorac palettes, these had a little bit less fallout than the other ones because a lot of times with the Lorac palettes um, they have great eyeshadows and I really do love the Lorac eyeshadows um, but I did feel that sometimes they did have a little bit of fallout and I feel that these don't as much so I think that that is an improvement right there. Now moving on to the second row. This is Crepe, Toffee, and Mist. Vintage, Hickory, Maple, Bark, and Jet Black. The second row, I think I liked the top row better than this one. In this row, I didn't like the color Mist. It seemed a little, it looked a little chalky to me. I liked the color Maple, which is this one right here. Very good color. The black one is actually a really good black. I kind of like these more towards this side which are the Vintage Hickory, Maple, Bark, and Jet Black. I think out of those, my favorite one would be the Maple, and I think that Hickory and Bark are also the colors that I would definitely get some good use out of. So now I'm gonna move on to the third row, and now we're gonna start with the more shimmery, frosty colors, which are my favorite. Snow, Kava, Cider. Bellini, Brown Sugar Sequoia Glacier Deep Fog 
So for the third row, there were a lot of excellent, excellent colors. Snow was very, very frosty and very, very highlighting. So I kind of liked it. And Kava, I really loved. I just feel like the camera doesn't do it justice, but it looks just like a color that really brightens and highlights. I think it will look pretty on its own or even topping off another color just to make it even more. I really, really liked Kava. And Cider, I loved. Kava, Cider were excellent. Brown Sugar and Sequoia are also excellent. Those swatch great. Even Bellini right here swatched really, really well. But I would say that those are my four favorites in this row. These two right here and these two right here. Bellini is very good. It's just a shade. It's not like my favorite. I prefer the other ones. That one's a little bit more orangey. And, you know, the silvers, I'm not that excited about those just because it's been so long since I actually want to wear silver. Um, I obviously always just prefer more of like the golden tones, the more neutral tone colors like browns, gold, bronzes. I prefer those than the silvers. I'm kind of like, eh with these two silvers, even though they swatched okay, but not as good as these here in the middle. Now moving on to the last row right here. Let's start swatching those. Tool, pink bronze, rust. Rose quartz, olive, dark roast. Pomegranate, licorice. My thoughts on the last row, the first color tool I really didn't like at all. It's one of those iridescent colors and I'm very anti-iridescent colors. I just do not like them at all and this one is no different. Pink bronze is okay, no big deal. Um, it looks pretty on here. But when you swatch it, it just really doesn't do much. It really just, I just didn't like it at all. These four here I loved. Rust. Rust, Rose Quartz, Olive, and Dark Rose. These four were excellent. Excellent colors, excellent color payoff. I definitely know that of those I'm gonna be using a lot. And Pomegranate and Licorice, I mean, Pomegranate, I just don't like. I don't like that shade. It's not something that I'm gonna be using. That color is probably gonna be one of the ones that I use the least in this palette. I just don't use a color that is like this on my eyes. I just don't like it. And Licorice, I also don't love all that much. But these four are excellent. So there you have so it. So as far as the packaging, at first it looks so pretty because it's it's nice and white and it has like the rose gold, which I love. But this packaging is not very smart and white for eyeshadows because it's gonna get so dirty and it's gonna be so obvious. Look at the back already. This was brand new when I took it out when I first started filming and after just swatching it, it's already, you know, dirty. So I have a feeling that this is gonna be gonna look like a big mess shortly once I start using it all in all I love the palette so far I'm very excited to start doing looks with it there are some colors that I don't like that to me are flops there are also colors that I just don't see myself using like that pomegranate probably won't be using the grays all that much but a lot of these colors kind of in the middle section I really really love and I think I'm gonna get good use out of this first row and these four colors in the middle of the last two rows I think were really great. They have great colors for the crease, so I think I'm really going to enjoy it. Definitely gonna be using it a little bit now. Um, now that I've already swatched it and, and messed it up a bit with the swatching, I'm definitely gonna um, get good use out of it. So stay tuned, because usually if I talk about something, you'll probably hear about it in my favorites, and if I love it, if I love it, you hear about it in my favorites video. And if you don't hear about it, it's probably because it was okay. And if I hated it, you'll definitely hear about it as a regret. Let me show you the Mega Pro number no. two palette, which is the one that came in the blue. And I'm gonna put it side by side with the three. So there you see the two side by side. I mean, I think that they're very different. They do have a lot of neutral shades, but they're very, very, very different. I mean, this one had a little bit of greens. It had a blue. Um, so if you have this one and you're a makeup addict like me, it is definitely something that you can, you know, maybe go out and get if you like to collect these palettes. Um, it's not a necessity that you must have, but I mean, if you like these, you know, they're special edition and, um, I just always like to have them. There's a Mega Pro 2 and there is the Mega Pro 3. 
So there are some differences and this one has like accents of green and blue where this one has more of like that pomegranate reddish tone to color and has some grays. So, so there you have them too, one on top and one on the bottom. I like that these have really big mirrors and I've always liked how Lorac makes their palettes really, really thin. I think that's really good. Um, so yeah, this is a Lorac Mega Pro 3. So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you guys enjoyed my little sneak peek into the Lorac Mega Pro number 3 palette. Of course, I will talk a little bit more about it once I use it more and test it out so I can let you guys know my thoughts. My September favorites should be up after I post this video. Well, not after, right after, but like a couple days after this video goes up. I know I'm a little bit late on that one, but I'm gonna film it right after this one because I have been a little bit delayed with the filming and um, that's pretty much it so please expect new videos coming up soon as always don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup I will talk to you very very soon bye